And I have to say, um, when I mention our names, like Mrs. Merkel, um, even uh, Vladimir Putin and so on, they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now, the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, Prime Minister Trudeau, Prime Minister Trudeau. Um, President of, Brazil, of uh, Argentina and so on, that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I would know that half of this cabinet or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet are for our uh, actually young global leaders of the world economy right. form. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I listened to my colleague's speech. I had a constituent that wanted me to ask a question about outside interference to our democracy. Klaus Schwab is the head of the World Economic Forum, and he bragged how his subversive WWEF World Economic Forum has, quoted, infiltrated governments around the world. He said that his organization had penetrated more than half of Canada's cabinet. And I was wondering, in the interest of transparency, could the member please name which cabinet ministers are on board with the WEF's agenda? My concern is the deputy. Uh, order, order, order. I, I know he was. I know that uh, the member was in a, a really good, good question there, but the the, the audio is really, really bad, and the video is really, really bad as well. Um, and I and I and I apologize. I don't know if if the member. Okay, uh, let's let's uh, let's try again. The honourable the, the, the honourable member for Timmins James Bay. Mr. Speaker, that member was promoting open disinformation. That's not debate. We have to call out disinformation. Uh, we'll get into debate again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris Skye. I have confirmed reports this Saturday, February 19th, of UN planes landed at the North Bay, Ontario airport. That is right in the vicinity of Ottawa, and it's very safe to assume there is UN personnel on the ground in Canada. Are they dressed up in Canadian service members' uniforms? It's a possibility. But there is no mistaking, there are multiple UN planes currently on the ground in North Bay, Ontario. Get this message out. Hello guys, it's Jose. I'm in North Bay reporting on this really cold, cold, cold day. And I just noticed here, because a lot of people were saying that maybe there were UN troops. Here you go. Notice the second airplane. Sorry. That looks suspicious. Well, we're at the North Bay CFAB airport. The United Nations are officially in Ontario. The police in Ottawa are United Nations police officers. 
Well, I seen uh, I seen a video online, so I thought I'd come checking out for myself. And here we go, the United Nations plane right here in North Bay. I wonder where all those cops in Ottawa came from. Canadian police are standing down, and United Nations are taking over our country.